So real quick, which one of these decimals is greater, 0 0.1 or 0 0.6? And the way you do this, we're going to look at the tenths place. That's the first number after the decimal here. The tenths place, we have 1 here, and here we have 6. 6 is greater than 1, so 0 0.6, that's greater than 0 0.1. So that's one way to do it. Your teacher might ask you to convert these to fractions and compare them. We can do that too. Let's call it 0 0.1 over 1 and then 0 0.6 over 1. That hasn't changed the number. We're just dividing by 1, but that's going to make it easier. Now, what I'll do, since this is the tenths place, I want to get this to be a whole number. I'm going to multiply by 10. But I can't just multiply the numerator by 10. I need to also multiply the denominator. That's because 10 over 10 is 1, so I'm just multiplying by 1. I don't change the value. Do the same thing over here. So now, 10 times 0 0.1 is just 1. 10 times 10 is 1. And over here, 0 0.6 times 10, that's just 6. And 1 times 10 is 10. Now we have the same denominators here. We can just compare the numerators. And you can see 6 is greater than 1. So 6 tenths, that's going to be greater than 1 tenth. And these are the same thing, right? So 0 0.6, like we found before, is greater than 0 0.1. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.